hello everyone hope you all are doing well so welcome back to my youtube channel educational wire in 2024 happy new year to all of you so now we will start our new topic that is angular momentum actually it's a physics topic so let's start do you know what is the definition of angular momentum if you know the definition of angular momentum so what are you waiting for just go in comment and write the definition over there so let's start first of all i have made a diagram over here in this diagram we shows the that we are having a circle okay in a circle we are having the zero point zero point is called the axis of rotation is called axis of rotation after that in axis of from axis of rotation we are having position vector from there we represent with r it's a position vector we have made one more line here we are having velocity that moves upward okay and here we are having mass m where m and v both conjugate together and make a linear momentum p p is equal to m v okay after that we are having like if we are having the reaction upward side so we are having weight downward side and that weight we are having l and actually l basically l is called the angular momentum l is equal to mvr is called angular momentum okay after that we will go further now we should know that what the angular momentum is and what is the basic definition of it and how it's related with the others so let's move now we are having angular momentum that is denoted by l i have written over here as a main point angular momentum denoted by l and as i told you recently now that mv is equal to linear momentum that is p and after that we know that the p we are having a linear momentum r position vector and the reaction reaction weight and position vector all degree will be same that is a 90 degree it's a maximum angle of these three that is 90 degree move towards the definition of words here is written that the quantity of motion due to which the body moves in circular path or angularly as i made the diagram over here in a circle i told you about the angular momentum and the linear momentum with position vector and axis of rotation so same here it says in definition that any quantity or the quantity of motion due to which the body moves in circular path this axis of rotation from here the quantity of motion from which the body moves in a circular path or angularly is called angular momentum okay after that let's move further after angular momentum we are having analogy analogy of some other uh, you can say other uh, we are having si units or we are having mass velocity acceleration these all are called physical quantity like mass mass is similar to inertia so we are having the formula over here i is equal to mr and it this is the formula of inertia if there is a rotational inertia so we are having angular velocity over there so in the place of r square position vector we will put i is equal to m w square that is the angular velocity second we are having a speed speed is same as angle theta so that they these all are the formulas of these like s is equal to r theta position vector and the angle after that we have velocity 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 is same as omega so we are having v is equal to r omega we are having angular acceleration it is same as alpha so we have written a is equal to r alpha after that talking about force force in linear its analogy is torque okay if we are writing torque in this one format like t is equal to 
आर एफ टी इज इक्वल टू आर एफ इन अ वैक्टर फॉर्म सो दिस वन इज करेक्ट If we are writing t is equal to f into r force into position vector, so this will be wrong. Okay. After that, like we have proved over here that f is equal to bring f r sine theta. This is we have opened the uh, vector form and we have written in this one method in angular uh, in angle method like f r sine theta. This is the r sine theta we are having is moment arm. After that, we are having torque. Torque depends on angular momentum. Like if we are having greater torque, so we are having greater angular momentum. If we are having lesser the torque, we are having lesser the angular momentum. It totally depends upon angular momentum and torque. Like if we will, uh, there will the greater in torque, there will be greater in angular momentum. If lesser in torque, so there will be lesser in angular momentum. Let's move another page. Now we are having anti-clockwise. Like uh, we are having clock, it moves clockwise. So in circular path, we are having two sides. One is anti-clockwise, and second is clockwise. So moving towards anti-clockwise. In anti-clockwise, what happened? The plane will be outside. Like anti-clockwise torque. Like we are having this is a circular path when it moves from here to this one side like anti clockwise so it will be moves outside okay plane will be move outside but when it moves clockwise like clock is moving so the plane is moving inside so the clockwise torque is inside after that we are having torque motion direction of angular momentum is determined by right hand rule these could be our mcqs that the direction of uh, momentum so the direction of angular momentum is determined by r h r this is the right hand rule it could be our mcqs that in the anti clockwise torque the plane will be it will be the outsider in clockwise torque the plane will be it will insider it if the greater the torque so the angular momentum will angular momentum will also greater okay now angular momentum is directed towards axis of the rotation like where the axis of the rotation will there will be the angular momentum okay another definition you can make of angular momentum that is the the cross product of linear momentum and position vector is angular momentum let's prove down mathematically mathematically as i told you before that angular momentum is denoted by l so l is equal to r position vector and p that's linear momentum so the same it says in definition that the cross product of linear momentum and position vector is called angular momentum after that the magnitude of it is l is equal to r p sin theta now here the theta be the angle between r and p 90 degree okay and at 90 degree it will be the maximum okay it can be the question that theta be the angle between r and p 8 so the answer will be 90 degree okay at the place of theta we place theta with 90 degree so l is equal to r p sin theta we know that sin 90 sin 90 degree is equal to 1 so we have put one over here so we multiply r p with 1 so it will remain same that l is equal to r Position vector and linear momentum, so it will be the maximum position of the angular momentum. After that, now we know that P is equal to m v. That is a formula of linear momentum. So we replace P with m v. So the ang we get the angular momentum formula that is L is equal to m v r. Now let's move towards the SI unit of it. So SI unit like we have m mass. as a unit is kilogram we are having v velocity its meter per second we are having r position vector its meter okay so kilogram meter per second and meter when meter and meter both multiply so it will make meter square so we are having kilogram meter square per second is the si unit of 
angular momentum now let's make the dimension of it like dimension kilogram will remain same we are in one kilogram so one m meter square so meter square will be changed in l length l2 and second is it down in denominator in nominator when it's move upward it's in denominator when it's move upward so it will be minus one so t minus one so m l2 t minus one is the dimension of angular momentum now angular momentum is same as so angular momentum is same as Planck's constant as a unit of Planck's constant is joule second we will also prove that the unit of angular momentum is also joule second that is same as Planck's constant so here the value of Planck's constant it is the least value in the world of the Planck's constant if someone will ask that the least value so the least value is Planck's constant that is 6.63 into 10 s power minus 34 and it's used by and taken out by Milli Kane and Milli Kane got the Nobel Prize on this uh, value he have taken this value so he got the Nobel Prize in 1921 okay and after that we are having here E is equal to HV that is joule second let me write over here we are having E is equal to energy is equal to Planck's constant and frequency Planck's constant we are having joule and frequency as a unit is second so the unit of Planck's constant is joule second okay now let's move further now here I have written one question that I have told you previously that show that the unit of show that the unit of angular momentum is joule second so mathematically we have written here l is equal to rp position vector and linear momentum now at the place of this vector like we are having now it also give us a proof that the best example of vector quantity or cross product is l is equal to rp okay after that because here all are vector so l is equal to rp we replace it with sine theta and i told you that theta is equal to 90 degree at maximum level so we put sine 90 degree over here and sine 90 is equal to 1 we put 1 over here when it's multiply so there will be no effect so at the place of p p is equal to mv m uh, it's a linear momentum at the place of p we will write mv we will replace it so l is equal to r m v or you can uh, settle it like l is equal to m v r okay and like position vector is meter mass we are having kilogram and velocity we are having meter second this is called our equation number one let's move further so l is equal to kilogram meter square per second as we have done in previous one pay it previous one page mathematically as we have taken out SI unit so this is the SI unit in MKS system in MKS system the unit of angular momentum is kilogram meter square per second after that divide and multiply by second we will divide it by second and multiply by second so here we written same kilogram meter square per second we multiplied it with second and we divided with second after that we open this one meter square into two meters like meter and meter so it will be kilogram meter into meter second square multiplied by second like second multiplied by second so second square so kilogram meter per second square is equal to newton so at the place of that we have written newton over here we have one meter we have remains so we put meter here and second also remains we write second over here so it's newton meter second now newton meter is equal to joule so when newton meter is equal to joule so in the place of newton meter we put joule over here so we have written that l is equal to joule and second is remaining so l is equal to joule second this is the SI unit how is the SI unit the actual SI unit of angular momentum is kilogram meter square per second but when we are talking about it's same as Planck's constant so the SI unit of angular momentum is joule second basically this is the unit of Planck's constant not angular momentum but when we are talking about it same as 
or its analogy is so its joule second of angular momentum hope you understand angular momentum very clearly if you have any question you can write in a comment till that thank you so much